Hello and welcome to V Anatomy, Veterinary Anatomy and Physiology for Students Studying Animal Science and Veterinary Nursing. The focus of today's lesson is the canine skull. Using the dog as an example, we will look at the main areas of the skull. We will look at specific areas in more detail in future videos. The skull is a complex structure made up of many small bones. Many of these flat bones develop via intramembranous ossification. Cartilaginous or fibrous tissue separates the bones in the growing animal, but in adults, the joining areas ossify and are known as sutures. In this video, we will outline the main areas of the skull. The nasal chambers are located rostrally. The nasal cavity channels air into the respiratory system and allows for olfaction, the sense of smell. Ventrally, the bones form the roof of the mouth and contain sockets for teeth. The nasal cavity is divided lengthwise into two by the nasal septum. This is illustrated most easily using a transverse cross-sectional view. In this view, we can see that the septum is central with many fine scrolls of bone, known as nasal turbinates or conchi, filling each of the chambers. The cranium is the caudal part of the skull, which houses the brain. As well as protecting the brain, there are also areas for housing special sense organs. The eye is located within the orbit, and the inner ear is located within the temporal bone. The frontal sinus is located here. This is an air-filled chamber which communicates with the nasal cavity. There are also important sites for attachment of muscles involved in chewing and facial expression. As seen on this ventral view, the occipital region articulates with the first cervical vertebra of the spine by the occipital condyles, and the spinal cord exits at this point through the foramen magnum. The mandible, or lower jaw, sits ventrally and consists of two halves joined together rostrally at the mandibular symphysis. This can be seen most easily in this dorsal view. The mandible articulates with the skull at the temporomandibular joint, commonly known as the TMJ. The mandible is involved in mastication or chewing of food, as it has sockets for teeth and areas for masticatory muscles to attach. The hyoid apparatus lies within the space between the mandibles. Each side articulates with the temporal region of the skull. It consists of series of small bones and cartilages joined together in a formation that is often described as trapeze-like. The tongue and larynx attach to the hyoid apparatus. Here is an overview of these main areas with the lateral and dorsal view, the nasal chambers, cranium, mandible and hyoid. You should now have a better understanding of the main areas of the skull. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and please remember to like and subscribe to see future videos. Thank you for watching.